Part 9. So if you followed me up to this point, you know things are just gonna get gross, and it gets gross. I don't need to explain it to you. So now, bear with me as I get back into character. A host for a parasite? I'm not sure I understand. Drudge. We're going to make you a host for a parasite. Now, when I was in college, I had a tapeworm. <laughs> I had a tapeworm. And that is the best feeling that I can describe of having life inside of you. Draining you of nourishment. A parasitic relationship between host and parasite. If you want to have the feelings of motherhood and having life grow inside of you, you need a parasite. And I can show you how to get that. You have to follow every word that I say. Will it hurt? Of course it will. But it'll be worth it if this is what you're looking for. Anything for you, Zoe. Trigger warning. What I want you to do is go to the market and find a steak. Find raw meat, ground beef, anything. Fresh, bloody, and then I want you to take it home. And I want you to leave it outside in the sun for two days. You're going to see bugs infest it. Once the bugs lay their eggs deep inside the meat, take the meat inside and eat it raw. Every last bite. And if you do it correctly, you will soon be a host. You will have life growing inside of you. Uh, three days later. I did exactly what you said. I don't think it worked. Overly descriptive email about that very tale. Down to the taste of rotting meat with maggots and bugs popping in her teeth. <coughs> And how violently ill she got after consuming this meat. She, her roommate rushed her to the hospital to get evaluated. And there we'll continue. It didn't work. The doctor says I, there's nothing wrong with me. Just a little food poisoning. Be patient. Wait a couple days and try again. A couple days later. Sponsor, it, it worked. I have life growing inside of me. I had one all along. It just took a couple days, but I feel it tugging on my intestines, moving like a gloved hand, clawing at my insides. Ah!